Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to go through a really cool module created by Mad Stuntman over this past weekend. It's brand new, seven hours ago he just updated it. It's called Persistent Data. What it says here, Persistent Data module allows you to save and load data stored into local variable objects without using Game Creator Save and Load Manager. It's a really cool way and really efficient way to substitute saving to profiles and loading profiles. And it works flawlessly. I'll take you through a quick tutorial on how to do that. The first thing you need is to obviously download this from the hub. The second thing you will need is a way to view the data that it will be stored just, just for your own sake, right? So right now I'm using player press editor to read my plist information, my data that is stored. And I'm using this from the store, it's free. So you can just download that and install it for this particular tutorial or just to use in general. So from creating a mobile game, without a doubt, one of the biggest hurdles I've had was trying to save and load player data. I came up with so many different methods and workarounds and I ended up using bools and conditions to get this to work and load and save properly with the current player profile prep system that's currently built into Game Creator. I ended up using a series of bools and a series of uh, conditions to make it work. It wasn't ideal, but it worked. So now with persistent data, the whole process took me no less than five minutes, honestly. And I'm gonna take you through how to do that from beginning to end. I'm gonna show you how to check to see if there's a current profile available. If not, create one. And then when you load the subsequent loads that you do, it will already know that there's profile created and it'll go straight into the game. This is done automatically. Okay, so this is a rare occasion. I won't be using State Machine for this particular tutorial. So I'm just going to mute this so that this doesn't interfere with anything. And we're gonna work strictly in the hierarchy here. The first thing you wanna do is to create a persistent data game object in the hierarchy. To do that, all you have to do is to right click and go to Game Creator, Persistent Data. Now, it's important. There's two things that are really important here. The persistent data has to be located into the root of the hierarchy. It cannot exist under a parent game object. Also, anything that you create here, any variables that you create, say for instance, we're going to create a profile. Don't check the save option here because that will conflict with the game creator save load uh, built-in functions. So we're going to set this as a bool. Okay, so the profile, we're going to set that as a bool because we're going to do a check to see if the, there's a new profile or if there's a current profile. And if there's not, then we create it and we'll flip this bool to true. Okay, so right now, if we hit the play button, uh, nothing will happen because there's no conditions to get past this scene. So after we created a persistent data and created a local variable called profile and set to bool, the next thing we're going to do is create a trigger. So we go to game creator trigger. Now in our particular instance, we don't need a spare collider, so I'm just gonna take that out. Uh, we just need the on start. In the on start, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click this button here to create a condition. Okay, in these conditions, we're gonna jump into the conditions here by double clicking. Now let's call this condition here, new profile. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do in here is we add a clause, and we're gonna set this clause to variable bool and we're going to go to local variable and we will drag this persistent data into here just so we have access to the profile bool that we set up okay so we're checking to see if this is a new profile so we're checking to see if it's false if it's false it's a new profile okay so what we have to do from there is create a set of actions so once it is verified that it's false we create a set of actions here and in these actions, all we're basically doing is just a quick little message here that we're gonna pop up. We're just gonna do a simple message and we're gonna say, please create a profile. Okay, and set it to two seconds. Let's do a quick test to see where we're at. Here you go. So please create a new profile and then it disappears. Nothing happens because we didn't, haven't set anything to happen. And I'm gonna go into my press editor here. This profile entry here that's been entered that's from the persistent data here. That's the ID, same ID, and it enters there. So I'm just gonna delete this. Let's go back to the new profile condition. Now we need a way for the player to create a profile. So let's do that by simply going here, game creator again, UI, and then we're gonna create a button. It's kind of small, so let's make it just a little bigger. Okay, 
and also we need to make the text just a little bigger so we can see it da 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 da, da. and i'm going to bold it just because okay so now we have a text button here in this button now all we have to do is do a couple actions here so we're going to go add action we're going to set a bool again same thing as we've done before local then we're going to drag from persistent data now we're going to set this profile bool to true because now we're creating a new profile and the player has entered it so now it's true okay and we're going to create a another pro uh, message here another simple message we will say take our account Awesome, you're all set. Okay, so let's do a quick test. So we don't have a profile. So now we have to uh, create a profile. So we hit the button and it goes, awesome, you're all set. Okay, so this didn't do anything in particular. Now we have to set up a way for that button to actually do something, create the profile. So once a player clicks a button, there needs to be an additional action here. So what we're gonna do is put an action call, call, conditions what this is basically going to do is going to call a condition which we're going to create here called existing profile duplicate the new profile and call this existing profile this is actually going to act as the double duty it's going to be used the first time the player creates a profile and it's going to be used for any subsequent loads loads so in here what we need to do is because we set the button to set this to true we check to see if it's true. Okay, once that is set to true, we're gonna keep this message here and we're gonna say loading, for instance, okay? Then we're gonna add, oh, it's gonna be two seconds here. Then we're gonna add a load scene and this is gonna load main landing. This is a scene that I have created uh, already in my build settings. Okay, so from here, all we have to do is go back to the button and in this call conditions, now we can drag the existing profile into this condition here. Okay, so let's go to existing profile just so we can watch this. So let's play it and see what we have. So now the player enter is brand new. Please create a profile. So we go here to create a profile. We click the button. Awesome, you're all set. And then it comes here, load in, and it goes into the main menu. Cool, right? Very easy, very quick. Okay, so, but now, what happens when the player needs to do a subsequent load? So now we need a way to check to see if a profile has been created. So right now, in our persistent data, when we load a game, the value will be set to true. Okay, so there is a profile. So once there's a profile, it can no longer check in a new profile because these conditions won't be met here. Okay, so now in this, in that case, because the condition will be true we need to create an else action here in the else action very simply all we have to do is call conditions once again and then we'll use the existing profile basically that's it that's all there is to it i hope you found this tutorial helpful and thank you again mad stuntman for putting in that work over the weekend is greatly appreciated and i think this module is going to be a big hit with the community thanks again for all the hard work that you do and all the love that you give the community until the next video guys take care have fun creating games